The police is primarily responsible for law and order and prevention of crime. So therefore, we have, uh, with our collaboration, we have uh, understood um, that uh, their participation is very, very crucial. And therefore, um, now it's been a couple of years where uh, we have trained a number of police officials uh, uh, on workshops on um, domestic violence, gender-based violence, and then uh, also on ways that they can provide a very um, enabling environment as well as provide security to the victims and also make the perpetrators accountable. So we've been doing that. And uh, another partner which we consider very important equally important uh, like the Royal Bhutan uh, Police is also the Royal Court of Justice. We work very closely with the judiciary. And uh, in collaboration, for instance, uh, the Royal Court of Justice in collaboration with the Royal Bhutan Police organizes capacity building programs on women and child friendly procedures and practices for the police personnel as well as the judiciary officials so that uh, they are able to provide uh, better judicial and legal services for the victims of domestic violence as well as any related uh, uh, cases uh, for uh, you know women and children related cases and uh, now so much so that uh, the training courses also include modules on laws and legislations related to women and children and they also provide hands-on experience to deal with the victims of uh, violence against children and uh, women now on the third uh, aspect of this panel, I think uh, that was more on the innovative practices to policing, including interface programs to initiate behavioral uh, change within the communities. Now in this instance, as I reported earlier, uh, we uh, work very closely with the Royal Bhutan Police. And therefore, in our partnership, one thing, one um, mechanism, in fact, uh, which has come up is what we refer to as the Women and Child Protection Units, WCPUs in short, we call it. And now these, uh, with our support, we have been able to establish these WCPUs. At the moment, uh, we have four. And our, uh, our hope is that, and in fact it is in the plan also, that in Bhutan we have 20 districts, and we would like to spread in all the 20 districts these WCPUs. If not as units in the smaller districts where uh, the incidence is little lower, uh, we believe that uh, even putting, setting up a bench would also be very, very helpful. Now, for instance, uh, these WCPUs, earlier what happened was any women and uh, children related cases, you know, they had to go to a police station, a general, where you literally have to queue up and then you do not get any kind of special attention. But here we have a unit which is set aside and therefore, um, that has made a lot of difference because I have visited a couple of them and uh, I've had such a great feeling. You know, women come, they are battered, no, no wonder. I mean, they have undergone a lot of uh, um, problems. But when they come to the WCPU, I think because the kind of enabling environment they have, they walk in with a lot of confidence and without any hesitation, they make their report and therefore, this is what we are seeking for. I think that has made a lot of uh, difference. And also, over the years, we have seen the statistics. I would like to believe that earlier, also, we had domestic violence, but we did not have the statistics, and we did not have such enabling environment for the women to come forward and report. So there was probably no reporting, I'd like to believe. And that is why we had the figures very low. But now, uh, of course, uh, I was a little shocked when I saw how many thousands reports are in Bhutan. That is not the case. We have a few hundreds, uh, maybe 200, 100, something like that. Very small figure. But you know, still, that's a rising figure. And uh, one of the reasons that I believe is the enabling environment that we have provided and the confidence for the women to come to report, that has uh, given the rise to the the rising figures. So that is uh, what has happened. And uh, at the moment we have four WCPUs and then um, we hope that uh, in the next five years we should be able to have it at uh, nationally in all the districts. 
And uh, from the public health uh, point of view, there have been efforts to build the capacities of the doctors and nurses to cater to the survivors and victims of domestic violence. And so this OSCC, the One Stop Crisis Center that I referred to earlier, was established in 20, 2010. And um, it provides uh, very specialized uh, services. And we have also helped in the training of the medical personnel who run this center. And uh, finally, uh, we also have, in terms of who offers the services, we have, uh, for instance, even in the case of the NGOs, we have very few. At the moment, we just have about, uh, just about 19 or 20, yeah? Uh, very few. And uh, again, fortunately, unfortunately, these are all more women-oriented. You know, and then uh, I was just looking at, uh, and we have a very good relationship with all of them. And uh, only there's just one NGO that deals specifically to women issues, for instance, VOW, Violence Against Women. And it is called RENEW. It's an acronym, R-E-N-E-W. It stands for Respect, Educate, Nurture, and Empower Women. It stands for that. And uh, that's the only one that offers services. But the rest, uh, although, they are not specifically um, uh, focusing on the domestic violence, but they are focusing on the empowerment of the women. And I believe again, this also has a ripple effect on the on uh, uh, reducing the uh, domestic violence or any kind of uh, gender-based violence. Because uh, you know, when you empower women, definitely a lot of confidence and independence that you feel. And I think when you have that feeling, you do not take nonsense. So therefore, I think that also helps. So uh, we have a couple of, maybe I will just make a mention that uh, we have uh, the Bhutan Youth Development Fund, which is more concentrated on the youth, but also some portion of it definitely to the girls. Then we have the Tarayana Foundation, the Renew that I talked about, and we also have uh, uh, what we call as the BAWI, that's the Bhutan Association of Women Entrepreneurs. and. Uh, So therefore, um, I think this is all on my presentation. So thank you very much uh, for your attention.